Hello there, my beautiful Libras, and welcome to your weekly reading for July 31st to August 7th. This reading can resonate if you have strong Libra placements in your chart. Keep in mind that time is fluid, and let's see what your overall energy is for the week here, Libra, and you have wish. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. All right, Libra. So you do have wish fulfillment coming in for you for the week. So Spirit is indicating that there has been something you've been wanting. And this week there will be energy of it being delivered. So let's see what your tarot spread is and see what that's all about. Spirit, this is for Libra. You have a flipper with the moon. You have another card coming out with the Nine of Pentacles. Spirit, this is for Libra. Seven of Cups. Your possible challenge for the week is the Eight of Pentacles, and your outcome is the Eight of Cups. All right, so I feel like for some of you Libras, you may have been wishing to get over something. There could be an emotion that you feel like you could just have not been able to free yourself from. A lot of confusion as well and how to free yourself from this feeling. I feel like for some of you, it may have definitely carried out or spilled into other areas of your life where it may have been a bit difficult for you to handle an emotion. Um, it could have been an emotion that was heightened through work through feelings involved in love or situations with other people. But with your challenge here, you have the Eight of Pentacles. So your challenge may be working on yourself at the moment and putting in that effort towards self-love and your outcome is the Eight of Cups. Walking away from this feeling or releasing this feeling that seemingly so has had a hold on you. So I feel like for some of you Libras, that's what you have been wishing for, to actually get over something that has been bothering you emotionally, possibly in the financial department as well. Let's clarify this here for you, Libra. So on the moon, we have the three of swords, the nine of pentacles, the two of wands, the seven of cups, so the six of swords, the eight of cup, eight of pentacles, so the queen of pentacles. And the Eight of Cups to the King of Swords. Yeah. So this is a really strong reading on if you are a Libra and you have been wishing to release something or get over something that has really hurt you, has really bothered you. I definitely feel like this is your week where you are going to feel alleviated from that emotion here. I feel like for quite some time it was difficult to understand how to heal this feeling. Could have been trauma, PTSD, or anything connected to feeling like you're just having an overthought constantly, constantly, constantly. But your outcome here is cutting something off, cutting something out. So if this is not internal, I feel like for some of you, you may decide to cut an actual individual out of your life, or maybe you just feel like your work is not necessarily appreciating you at the level it should be appreciating you. But I definitely feel like you are getting over something or getting past something this week. So a lot of you definitely have been wishing for that. Clarify this spread only here for Libra and indicate where are they heading with this energy. Very straightforward to the point here for you, Libra. You have the Two of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Temperance card. Yeah, it looks like you're removing an energy from your life that has only caused you pain, has only caused you heartbreak, and has only caused you a sense of feeling not at peace within yourself. Some of you, this definitely was a feeling you couldn't shake. Others of you, it could have just been a person that you couldn't shake here. So I definitely feel like for some of you, you are figuring out a way to get out of your head and realize that this is only bringing you down or putting you down and not necessarily lifting you up. So let's see what other energies are coming your way for Libra for the week. We have the Knight of Wands, the Five of Wands, and the King of Cups. Yeah. I feel like Spirit is really indicating that this individual is not, or this feeling connected to something 
is not worth your time and energy any longer. I definitely feel like there was a lot of insecurity around removing this from your internal energy, from your life. Oops, sorry. And with the temperance cards of the King of Cups, I feel like spirit is indicating be patient. There are better people out there. Be patient. There are better experiences for you out there and or better types of love if this is revolving around love. So some of you are just dealing with somebody in your close vicinity, in your circle that you're kind of like wishing to not have drama with anymore. Some of you, there could be some resolution with this individual, but I feel like you ultimately feel like this individual or this situation is not necessarily benefiting you in your life. Why is this King of Cups here? We have the Star to the Six of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, Spirit's going to bring you somebody better. Somebody and or a possible better situation for you revolving your finances. Nonetheless, it definitely looks like something has gotten to you where you have been feeling devalued or not valued as much as you feel like you should have been by an individual or by a certain place, certain institutionalized energy. I see you freeing yourself from it and feeling a whole lot better. And or you may just feel a lot more strong or a lot more strength. There you go. And moving away from something where you may have felt it was hard for you to do. In terms of zodiac signs in the spread here for you, Libra, you have Aquarius, you have Sagittarius, and you have Pisces. Let's see what your ending oracle is from the Astro Star Codes. This is for Libra. All right. And you have the energy of resources. Second house, card number 40. Yeah. For some of you, this is definitely revolving around your finances where you feel like you are not getting paid enough or you are not valued enough. And I feel like that's probably why this is your challenge with the Eight of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles indicating knowing who really appreciates your time, energy, and effort. So, card number 40 with the second house. If your chart were a village map, your second house would hold your bank, museum, and warehouses. It symbolizes what you value, such as your body, your relationship to the material world. The second house also describes that phase of infancy where you're just discovering that you have a body and that you can taste and smell. Your challenge with this card could be what you see is not all there is. If you are looking for emotional and spiritual satisfaction in your stuff, it will never be enough because it never quite scratches that itch. Your gift with this card is your skills, your resources, and your interests can all be sacred if you make an offering of your intention and engage your work for the benefit of all sentient beings. Yeah, so I definitely feel like there's wish fulfillment to your money where you may find yourself in a more generous position where you are receiving more for your work. Or some of you could just be getting some sort of promotion or raise or a new job where you get paid more at this place or in this institutional energy. So others of you, I do feel like it have to do with another person. You could feel like your boss or higher up or superior is the one devaluing or it could just be that shaking of feeling emotionally take what resonates leave the rest behind but this is what i have here for you my beautiful wonderful libras we do have the blessed bracelets going out in all kits purchased from my etsy shop you can find the link down below and you can customize your kit to libra there's a drop down of all 12 zodiac signs you could click libra and it'll all be libra goodies in your kit so Thank you, my beautiful, wonderful Libras. Do not forget to subscribe, ring that bell, like this video if you haven't already. We are back active on this main channel, and I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very soon. Bye now.